Okay, so I'm excited to share with you iBrainstorm, and this is the final tutorial on our mind mapping app series. So the one really cool thing about iBrainstorm is that you can create these little sticky notes on there, and you can actually share these between iPads if they're on the same Wi-Fi connection. So it's a really cool way for students to collaborate with one another on different projects or if they're working together on something. It's just as simple as just taking the sticky note and putting it in a certain spot and then it will share it immediately with the other iPad. So let's go ahead and download this from the App Store and then when you get it downloaded go ahead and open it. Like most apps what it's going to do is it's actually going to give you the getting started page. I'm going to X out of this because there are a few things on here that I want to share with you that may not be in the get started page. So if you want to just draw or write your ideas, you can actually do this. You can change the size of the pencil marking. You can change the color. And you can also connect this thing called Pencil by 53. What it is, it's an electronic pencil that you can connect to your iPad. And you can use it like a traditional pencil. I think that this could be useful in a K-3 through setting. If you want your students to use a pencil or learn how to use a pencil, but also use technology. It's a really cool tool that you can use, but you really don't need it for this app. So let's go ahead and get started with this. If I want to add a new sticky, I can double tap to edit this. Maybe I'm going to compare a book with a movie. So say for example the book The Boy in Striped Pajamas. It's a really good book. It's an excellent movie. I can change the size of this text. I can change the color of this. I can also make it to where I'm just showing the text without a sticky note. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So for the book, I'm going to use all red stickies. So if I want to add another one, I'm going to go ahead and do that over here on this side. And I'm going to use the same title. Now, what I can do with these, I can actually uh, send these by dragging this and putting it over here into the share button. I'll call this the collaboration corner. And what we can do is we can actually share this. And if I had another iPad connected to the same Wi-Fi network, I can then share it with a specific iPad and that's it's a pretty unique tool so you can only do this with the sticky notes but the developers of the app are actually working on the function of allowing you to share drawings and things like that as well so another cool function of iBrainstorm is if I click on the I in the upper right hand corner I can then add these different backgrounds and they're kinda of different templates different concept maps so for this one we want to add a Venn diagram now I have the option of either writing this in or I can just continue to add these sticky notes. What I would do is instead of using one of these sticky notes, I would actually go over here and I would click this button and I would type in my different information and then I can drag that wherever I need to go and that's a pretty unique option. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the video that I brainstorm actually created to show you how the sharing feature happens. Uh, before we do that, let me just show you the share button. What you could do is you could actually add this. You could share this. You could put it on Google Drive if you're using Google um, in your classroom. You can use Shobi. You can import it. Uh, you can obviously email it to each other. So that's another option that students can do um, if they need to turn this into you. So like I said, the collaboration feature of this app is unique um, to where you can share different pieces of information with each other. It's a great way for your students to collaborate. So I'm going to show you this video that the developers have created and then we will conclude our mind mapping apps tutorials. So here's the video that iBrainstorm has created.
Okay, so that's pretty unique, the way that you can share with iBrainstorm. So that concludes our tutorial on iBrainstorm. If you have any questions about how to use it, you can always contact me, Corey at ClassroomTechMadeSimple.com. And this actually is going to conclude our four-part series on mind mapping apps. Remember, we started with Inspiration, then we moved on to Inkflow, and then we used Poplet, and then iBrainstorm. My advice to you is to find one or two of these apps that you feel comfortable with and go ahead and utilize them in your classroom. I think that your results in the classroom will be there will be a lot of engagement with your students. And most importantly, you're going to utilize the technology that is available to you. I hope all of this has been helpful and beneficial information to you. So we'll see you next video. This is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple. We'll see you later.